Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can uh, fix a media control panel not opening on uh, or not working on Windows. So the first thing what you need to do here, you need to close uh, NVIDIA control panel processes. So for example, if I'm running here control panel uh, uh, and if I go on task manager, uh, it should be here, as you can see, task uh, NVIDIA control panel. So if you're not running uh, NVIDIA control panel and there is a task here, uh, same to this, what you need to do here, you need to end this task, right? And once you do that, then another thing that you can do here, uh, if NVIDIA control panel is not uh, opening, uh, you need to restart uh, important NVIDIA services. So you need to go to services here, and then just press on one of the service and then press N until you see uh, this uh, little, uh, these little tasks. And what you need to do here, uh, you need to uh, just see you need to look for display container uh, ls and then right click on it and then press restart uh, same thing with local system container and uh, for me as you can see here there is a, a no network frame uh, network uh, container so if there is network container for you do the same task and if there is telemetry container uh, do the same here right and then you need to look a uh, if problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, then what you need to do here, you need to disable uh, NVIDIA display container processes. And to do so, open up task manager, and then you need to uh, look for, as you can see here, NVIDIA container here, and then just uh, end the task here. And after you do so, you need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, then Another thing that you can do here, you need to launch GeForce Experience, as you can see here. And it's completely, you can completely uh, download for free on the official GeForce Experience, uh, G NVIDIA website. And then you need to just go for drivers and then check for updates. And if there is an update for you that you need to install, please download it and install it. And then restart your computer and you need to look if the problem persists or not. And if the problem persists, then another thing that you can do here, you can press Windows Sanaki or just on search write run. And then you need to just uh, select this option, uh, write this option power cfg.cpl and press OK. And then what you need to do here is to uh, choose uh, what the power button do and then change settings that currently are unavailable. And then what you need to do here is uh, disable this option here and press save changes. And the problem should be fixed. All right, so that's pretty much it. And if I help you out, please press like button and subscribe for more. Take care. Bye.